Hi, in this video, we will talk about authorization in API tester. So how you will provide an authorization in API tester mobile app that we will see in this video. So first, what is authorization? Authorization is done to verify the eligibility of a user to access a resource in the server. The process of authorization is applied for the APIs which are required to be secure. So we cannot access all the APIs. So for that, we need authorization. So how you can provide that authorization in the API tester mobile app that we will see with an example. So let's go to mobile app. So this is my API tester mobile app. Here, I have one of the resource URL called this one. So this is a get request. So I'll create a get request here. Click. So get request. So first, let me rename this. So what I can put, get all orders, okay? So now I need to provide that, this one. So then if I execute this, I want to get all the products. If I execute this, you just observe what will happen you see that missing authorization header. In the header, I'm missing the authorization. So I cannot access this URL without having authorization to this particular URL. Okay, so but how you will get that authorization? Okay, so for that, what we need to do? So first we need to register a user. Okay, register you as a user in this server and then you will get a token by using that get token you can execute this okay so first we'll see how we can do that so for that we have one more api so this is the one so api clients you need to register as a user in this this is a post request so just click on this click on post and i'll mention this as Rename authorization hyphen register client or user, whatever it is. Okay. So now I'll just put this information here. This is the URL. With the help of this URL, you can register as a user in the server. So now how you can do that? So for that, you need to provide some information that is client name and client email. With the help of this information, you can register yourself in the server. So I copied. So where you need to provide that information? Okay. So you need to go to body section. In the body, you have one of the options called raw and then click on this post data option click on this post data. So here you can paste. So it's not working. So let me type manually. So what is that client name? Client name, colon. What is that? API tester and then comma. So what is that client email? CLA client email colon. So we need to provide API tester at the rate email.com. Some dummy data I'm giving, but the format should be like this. Client name, client email, you need to provide in this post data section. So once you're done, just click on this cross symbol. So now you have the data in the post data section. You see, this is saved. So now you just execute this. You see that you got access token. So let me copy this. So let me paste here. So this is my access token. Now I need to go to this get all orders. 
so get all orders you need what you need authorization right missing authorization header so go back to your header section header section you just add header what is that key value pairs authorization authorization and what is that value this access token okay the key is authorization that access token is this is the one now you try to execute this one okay you see that some data is coming empty there is no data so it is not showing but you are not getting any error missing authorization header we got now you see that it is success 200 and we got empty data as there is no data so because of that it is showing empty but it is executing successfully previously when, when there is no authorization you are getting an error missing authorization header now you are getting some empty data okay so this is how you can provide authorization to your apis and you can get the data and you can see the response okay so this is how you can provide authorization in api tester okay so that's all in this video thank you